Hello students, so this is the review for chapter 1 and 2 for the midterm. Uh, obviously, <coughs> uh, as we discussed earlier, you guys already know uh, the uh, like what is a treatment group and control group, right? So you guys need to know what a treatment group is and what a, a control group is, right? So we we already discussed when we uh, talked in chapter one, right? And here's an example. So this example, there are 27 in the control group, uh, 27 in the treatment group and 26 in the control group, right? So we we know how to actually and we can see that the treatment group the outcome is better right so we need to know that as you know so if i tell you find the proportion with good outcome and treatment group it should be pretty familiar with you guys right so i don't have to discuss again okay so this can uh, the distinction between treatment and control group is important All right similarly in, i can ask like proportion of control group so on and so forth uh, another part is whether it is generalizable, right? So as I have discussed, you guys already know whether it is generalizable or not. You can review this slide, right? Uh, we also need to know the data matrix. And uh, not only that, uh, the type of the variable, right? Whether it's a numerical variable, whether it's a categorical variable, and in numerical, it could be continuous discrete, categorical could be uh, ordinal or regular categorical right uh, so you can do it i believe right so these are some examples you can look through the slides right uh, also you need to find the relationship among variables uh, so you need to know that and whether there are anything that is unusual so here cgpa cannot be greater than four right we also need to know what is an associated and what is an independent uh, variable right so these i have discussed a couple of times in class so if you are there definitely you know what are those right uh you also need to know what is a population what is a sample right uh, so population is like all people and sample is just a group of the all people so in a group like a group of adult women right you guys also need to know what a census is right uh, another thing that we need to know is the explanatory uh, analysis right and I gave in class the example of like you know taste a spoonful of soup right uh, so uh, so I said that in a pot, okay, if you test the sample and if it's, that's like how, you know, chefs test, right, if the, it's good or not and whether it needs more salt. So those are exploratory analysis. I can ask what is it. Uh, this could be, you know, one question. So there's a star here. So read this slide, right. You guys need to know what's a sample bias is. Okay, non-response and voluntary response so I can ask what's a convenient sample right so these kind of things so there's an example of you know uh, the election results although it's large but you know if you can read uh, like uh, why it was bad right uh, similar to the soup analogy so uh, you guys can read that as well uh, we also need to know what's an explanatory variable. This is the independent variable. Response variable is the dependent variable. Uh, sorry. Explanatory variable might affect the response variable, right? So explanatory are the uh, that uh, the independent variables and response variables is the dependent variables, right? Uh, we also need to know what's an observational study or what's an exper experiment. Um, so uh, they gave the example of general mills, right? So you can read these examples if you want. Uh, what's a prospective study or 
retrospective study uh, this is also important and the techniques that i have taught you guys uh, simple stratified cluster sampling uh, so what's a simple random sample right this is important for the midterm what's a stratified sample right also very important i can ask uh, what's a cluster sample right you guys need to know these things right very important uh, what's a multi-stage sample uh, see all the definitions are there okay uh, principles of the experimental design there's a control group treatment group we need to randomize replicate block uh, so again we need to know what's a placebo placebo and what is a placebo effect right what's blinding what's double blind so these are some important you know design terminology so you guys need to know that right uh, this chart is the most important chart okay this uh, you guys have to know for sure all right i can ask in the exam uh, you guys know what's a scatter plot right visual representation so this we discussed in class what's a dot plot so these things you guys need to know okay in general uh, what are those things right i'm not repeating because it's it's just a review class okay i have already discussed them in the lectures so and you guys know what uh, those are right specifics or not uh, what's a mean right we know that it's a mean right what's a population mean what's a sample mean right uh, stacked dot plot so histograms right very important if you want to uh, know that right um, so modality this is also important right whether it's unimodal whether it's bimodal or uh, things like that right now the shape of the distribution right whether it's right skewed left skewed or symmetric so symmetric is something which has like uniformity distribution uh, like uh, let's say a normal table right it's symmetric like whatever is on the right hand side is exactly equal to the left hand side so i didn't draw it properly but usually it will be like you know symmetric and whether it's right skewed or left skewed how do we decide so if it's right skewed so this slide is the most important one right so right skewed uh, the tail should be on the right left skewed the tail is on the left right symmetric this one like a normal distribution so unimodal one mode bimodal two modes like two points multimodal multiple modes or multiple points uniform distribution is like this right always same uh, so that's a very important slide right so make sure you know what that is you also need to know variance you can write down this formula okay variance you can write what's uh, variance is actually standard deviation square right and standard deviation is the root of variance or root of s square okay so root of variance in other words root of variance, right uh, you guys need to know what's a median right uh, also the quartiles the q1s q2 q3 or and the interquartile range uh, these are something that you guys need to look at uh, very interesting you know what's a box plot uh, and maybe you might take a look at this diagram all right couple of these things right what's a whisker and you you need to know the maximum upper whisker so i can ask something like what's a maximum upper whisker what's a maximum lower whisker so bring a formula sheet if you want uh, i can tell you guys to calculate a whisker right uh, outliers we already know what outliers are right and over here how do you know if it's right skewed if the mean is greater than median how do you know it's a left skewed if the mean is less than median right 
and mean equals to median when it's a symmetric distribution so i can ask when so this is important when mean equals to median right state mean equals median then you can say when when it's a symmetric distribution then mean equals to median right uh, these properties are also important so make sure you look at these properties as well all right uh, contingency table you guys need to know bar plots uh, we have kind of discussed right so you know about that right mosaic plots we did it in the r lesson so if you have done the r lessons you know what a mosaic plot is right uh, it's, it's 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 pretty nice how we can actually get a mosaic plot right okay <sighs> so and also the hypothesis test is important right now alternate uh, you can read this uh, definitely one question might asked in the exam so now let's go to chapter two in chapter two definitely we need to know what's a random process okay this is important what what is it a random process and probability is always from zero to one right it can't be more than one then probably you're making a mistake you guys need to know the law of large number very important okay property you definitely need to know that and what are disjoint and non-disjoint events or outcomes in fact right so you guys need to know that union of non-disjoint events so this is an example you can take a look it may be uh this formula is very important okay this formula you have to know for sure right it should be in your formula sheet and also you have to note this right uh when so if you know this then it simplifies to that right uh you guys have to know what the sample space is what are complementary events right uh what is known by independence okay these these things you guys need to know like and how to check for independence so uh read this slide very important how to check for the independence right uh so product rule for independent events so you you can you can make sure that you can have this in the formula So disjoint versus complementary, right? And this type of questions might come up in the exam, right? At least one. So this is, right? So read through the, those uh, examples. Uh, we also I may ask about the find the marginal probability probability I can table table of uh, relapsed so that would be the marginal probability right so this divided by this marginal probability of no relapse it's twenty four over seventy two right uh, find the joint probability joint probability is always smaller I have many times discussed in class. This is it. Uh, conditional probability. This this definitely is going to come in the exam. Okay, most important one. Uh, not necessary. This example. I can just create my own example to see if you understand or not. But I'm going to test. Uh, general multiplication rule. You can you know write these formulas down there uh independence and conditional probabilities right so just all the formulas you know will be useful uh, i mean as was a random variable what's a discrete variable right random variable what's a continuous random variable uh what's expectation expectation this formula is important right 
expectation like you know what we'll go through this problem all right of the discrete random variable all right uh variance standard deviation pretty much the similar thing uh, also you can work through this example if you want it's a good idea uh, i'll talk about the linear combination right linear combination of random variables um, and the properties so these are the important properties right for a linear combination um, so you can work through this example very uh, interesting example linear properties right uh, the properties of a variance right i told that when it's a when it comes out it becomes a square so uh, for variance the linear properties are slightly different so you can also work through this example if you want. So that's pretty interesting, like what we are doing. Right. Uh, so and then continuous distribution. All right. So that's about it for chapter one and two. I'm going to post chapter three and four, and also I will talk about um, the uh, the curves like. Uh, the normal curve t curve in the next uh, part of the review so this is part one and so watch out for review part two thank you